Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. I want to talk about bird flu. No, I don't have bird flu. I have pollen allergies. They're killing me. But I'm, I'm alive and well. I'm not going to complain. But I want to talk about bird flu. And it is spreading across the United States. Uh, Idaho is the latest state that has confirmed it. And now it's in 27 states. And it's affected 27 million birds. So these birds had to be put down. Uh, and that's the only way you could do it. You can't give them medicine. Um, you, you put them down, destroy them. 1.3% uh, of our chicken population has been uh, put down and 6% of our turkey population, and this is U.S. domesticated ones. In 2015, we had similar bird flu outbreak. Uh, that looks like uh, is going to be not as bad as this one. This one is going to be worse, it looks like. November 1st, the USDA said a dozen eggs were about a dollar. Right now in April, it is up to $2.95. So that's a huge increase. And if you look back at only 1.3% of the chickens have been affected uh, and you got a tripling of the price, uh, I hope it doesn't get bad. I hope they get it under control. Uh, what is bird flu? Well, it's a, a disease that chickens get. Uh, it's a respiratory disease. And they can have a lot of problem. They could be look like they're gasping for air. They can have some nasal discharge. They can have some di serious diarrhea. Um, they could be lethargic, and eventually they will die. And it can be quickly. You know, they also might have some swelling in their head and their neck. And if you look carefully, there could be some purple uh, tints in their head and their legs. So it's definitely a, a serious problem. Um, we get about about a dozen eggs a day So we, you know we could be affected because our birds Get out in a big huge area so they can be exposed to wild birds and that's how it can spread Wild birds can get it and then mingle in with your flock by landing there uh, then giving your domestic chickens at your house bird flu and really if you get bird flu you need to destroy everything uh, and sanitize everything um, there's no easy solution. You can't give them medicine. Um, it, it'd be counterproductive. So, with all the other worries that we have within this crazy world and the rising inflation because of our devaluing of our dollar, and now we have egg problems. Uh, we eat a lot of eggs in my family. Our little guys can polish off five or six scrambled eggs between the two of them. Easy every morning. So we, we use a lot of eggs, and it, it's nice to have the ability to go get fresh, uh, as close as you can get to organic as you can uh, as an individual. So have you prepared? Do you have powdered eggs put back? Do you have another means to uh, have eggs? Now, they'll still be available, but we're looking at cost. You know, if the uh, bird flu outbreak is a lot worse than in 2015. You could see eggs up to four and five dollars a dozen. I, I can totally see that as more flocks get put down. Uh, I have seen a huge demand locally for people wanting chicks and there's not as many chicks out there. And I, that could be because more people are preparing for hard times or is it the places that raise the small chicks just don't, don't have them or are they saving them for the big guys that have to replace their flocks I don't know but all I know is bird flu is out there so do your best to isolate if you could leave your birds inside an area where they wouldn't be in contact with other wild birds uh, that'd be your best bet I can't I have to let mine out they can't stay in my coop I would have to drastically recut down on my chickens and I don't want to do that so I'm, I'm playing Russian roulette and letting them go out and we'll just have to monitor and, and see what happens so prepare have you put some some eggs back in a freeze-dried way or in another way or are you just counting on having fresh eggs from the store whatever it whatever you're doing just keep prepping keep preparing um, I know who's in charge I know who's in control of everything so do your best thanks for watching